what's happening with the metaverse right now well one of the things i'm really lucky to be part of is the metaverse council at the global esports federation i also oversee the metaverse special interest group at Salford university which brings together researchers from health science arts and business to think about the future of this subject it's one of the most remarkable areas i've explored within my research over 20 years not least because it brings so many people into this space and that for me is one of the most exciting aspects of the metaverse it's breaking boundaries around industries about research and around our social lives as well i think what's compelling people to think about this really deeply is that they see the blurring of the boundaries our social lives become intertwined with our gaming activities our musical fascinations we attend concerts in the metaverse these sorts of things are the kind of core of what the metaverse is about providing new ways of experiencing the social world and yes it's about trying to have a seamless connectivity between platforms so that we can move from one space to another and experience it it's also about replicating the physical world creating digital twins that allow us to experience it in very different ways but what's really interesting about it and one of the reasons why I think we're still at the beginning of the metaverse era is that actually a lot of this stuff hasn't really been figured out yet we're still trying to work out what the metaverse can and should be how far we're prepared to go down this uh, rabbit hole and in particular figure out what value it brings to our lives. Now, there are lots of people working in this space that are really trying to usher in a new sense of perception. And I think philosophically, that's what's interesting about it. It's interesting because we believe and historically have concluded that our vantage point on the world is just one fragment of the world in its entirety. No surprise there, but if you try to expand this even further, how do you get to be able to enjoy and experience the vantage points of all people, of all things at all times? And it's the capacity to then inhabit those spaces that the metaverse kind of draws us into. It's a possibility of living through our fantasies, our imaginations, and for those to become real in really meaningful ways. And I think that's partly why you can't look at the metaverse as a commercial or digital proposition. It's not about even just transforming our digital culture. In fact, it's about looking at the last century of media technology and identifying the continuity between even things like literature, books that allow us to inhabit characters and roles and identities through our imagination and our ability to empathize with those characters as an inherent part of human interest and desire. The metaverse provides this facility in remarkably powerful ways to live through the kind of dreamlike states that we inhabit during our sleep and to do so in a physical world where we can then be unbound by the structural elements that limit our physical environments. All of these things are why the metaverse is here for a very long time and yet also why we need to start thinking about that journey into it to recognise why this is inherently connected to our evolution as a species and where it's taking us in the future. <laughs>